Kilmartin Glen in Argyll, Scotland is a landscape well known for its prehistoric archaeology. The area has a large collection of standing stones, cairns and rock art dating to the end of the Neolithic and Early Bronze Age. Some have remained visible since their construction, while others have all but vanished as land was reused. Interest in Kilmartin's prehistoric past has existed for several hundred years, with various antiquarians recording and excavating a number of monuments. The rock art at Achnabrek represents some of the most complex rock art in the area. The flat rock outcrops are covered by artwork known as cup and ring marks. This type of artwork can be found outside of Kilmartin Glen and even Scotland. It dominates the artistic expression through rock art in Britain during the late Neolithic and Bronze Age and can be found even further afield. It is highly likely that this abstract artwork had some deep meaning to the people who created it, but its purpose will almost certainly remain a mystery. During the early Bronze Age at Kilmartin Glen, a new type of artwork was made. Instead of just cups, lines and circles, people started depicting objects. The most common object to appear was the flat metal axe, which was first made in copper before bronze. Images of flat axes can be seen inside the recruiting cairn, as well as other sites in Britain, such as Stonehenge and the Badbury Barrow. Other than the outline of what appeared to be feet on the Cookno stone, prehistoric art in Scotland has never shown a living creature until now. At Dunkrigge Cairn, Hamish Fenton made a discovery that would change our understanding of rock art in Scotland and the UK. Using only a torch, Hamish looked at the underside of the kissed capstone for markings that might have been made by humans. Like at Recruiting Cairn, the likelihood of rock art on a stone within a kist was reasonable. But what Hamish found was not a simple cup ring or even flat axe outline. Hamish has an archaeological background and created a digital 3D model to see his discovery more clearly. He contacted Scotland's Rock Art Project and Historic Environment Scotland to notify them of his discovery. After creating a high-resolution 3D model, they were able to analyse the capstone and confirm the discovery of some new and unique rock art for all of Scotland. Hamish had spotted a matching pair of antlers, which were attached to the outline of a stag. But it wasn't the only one. Another stag with antlers is facing away from the first, with three other deer nearby. The deer artwork is believed to be four to five thousand years old and probably predates the building of the stone box kist, which housed a burial. As some of the artwork would have been hard to reach while it was a capstone, it is likely it was created on a standing stone before its reuse as a capstone. The kist is Bronze Age, but reuse of Neolithic cairns in the Bronze Age is well known around Kilmartin. It is hoped that further analysis over the coming years will be able to shed further light on the dear rock art that has never been truly hidden but hard to spot for thousands of years. For more about the Dunkirk deer, search for Scotland's Rock Art Project for information by Tertia Barnett, Joanna Valdez Tullet, and Lynn Wilson, who are the researchers on the project. Kilmartin's museum is currently undergoing redevelopment and hopes to reopen to visitors in 2023. Dunkirk Cairn is also closed while further research is undertaken. We take great pride in the videos produced for the Ancient Craft channel. We would really love to continue making more videos with new tutorials, site visits, artifact showcases and of course nap time. We have a Patreon account where you can support us in our efforts. There are competitions and replica artifact giveaways. Check it out here. And thank you to those who have already signed up. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.